Today we're going to be talking about Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Dan doesn't think I'm responsible enough to watch his dog this weekend. So, uh, Harry Potter is this kid. He was raised by his long-lost relatives. His fat old uncle. And his weird, witcherphobic aunt. They made him sleep under the stairs. The only friends he had were spiders. Spiders that he named with names like... Ferdinand. Terence. Clark. Lawrence. And Frank. Harry Potter finds out that he's a wizard. He said crazy weird powers. So Harry Potter has to go to Hogwarts. You get there by a magical train. You get there by going to the seven and three quarters platform. You have to beat up a homeless person and steal their shopping cart full of dirty clothes and run through a brick wall. It's a pretty important initiation for Hogwarts. It shows that you think wizards are better than other people. Dumbledore is like, how much do you want to be a wizard? Show me you're responsible by clacking that dirty homeless man across the face. How important is magic and mayhem to you, Harry? Dumbledore sounds like he's on death's door uh, pretty much the entire book. Harry, can I have a lozenge, Harry? Harry Potter decides to prove himself worthy, and he steals three shopping carts from a homeless person. And that homeless person's name? is, well, I can't say it. You have to sound it out like, huh, huh, huh. Don't, you, don't say it. It kind of sounds like Dumbledore, but it's not. It's not. It's not him. Back at Hogwarts, after Harry's proven himself, it's time to be sorted into the houses. They put a big old hat on him and the hat says, oh. Go sit over there, jerk. Because you're not responsible enough to be in any house. Yeah, uh... So, Harry Potter says, this is an outrage. Yeah, I'm gonna sort you into the house of people who don't know the responsibility of caring for a pet. I am literally livid. Harry Potter just throws a hissy fit which isn't a huge surprise, because Harry Potter overreacts to things. My three cats have been alive for over four years. That's because cats, I mean, basically you just set it and forget it. You don't have to, t you don't have to think about it. <sighs> if I let you take care of my dog, I will come back and I will have to plan a dog funeral. Line crossed. <laughs> He falls asleep, he wakes up, everything's cool. That's actually the second book. Let's agree to disagree about the ending of this book. Fine. Fine. Anyway, you're not taking care of my dog.